Ooh, I think he just tuned in what we're going to be talking about today. We'll see. I want to know if there's a way that I can develop a connection or a, a, a faith in God. I don't know how anybody in this room can experience God for themselves. Hmm. So you asked the wrong question. You got to ask a dummy question. Let me help you. Is there a way I can experience God for myself is really a question that can be answered. So is there a way that I can experience it? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> John will answer that. Yes. There's your answer. You asked, he answered. You know, life is short and sweet. That isn't what you wanted to hear, right? No. No, I got that. He needs more. He needs more information. <laughs> You like to tell me to tell him some more information? Yeah, about what he wants to know. Okay. I'm waiting for the hard ones. <laughs> so what do you know so far? <laughs> Very little. Joy is the sign of the presence of God. You know, he's, he's there and he's not got it yet. <laughs> well, he, know, he knows the silent part. Yeah, he just doesn't know the joyful part. Okay. That's, that's the spirit doing that. There's no reason for anybody to be laughing here, so you got to know they're laughing because something's happening inside. <laughs> of course it's funny. It's always funny. It's always funny. You don't. We never laugh when it's serious. It's always funny. It's always funny. <laughs> you might as well get with the laughter because that's what's happening here. <laughs> one of the signs you said, "How do you know?" So the spirit gave you one. And you missed it. <laughs> so you know, one thing you got to do is be awake for when it happens. Because it's just going to start again, just to see if you can catch it. <laughs> and the more they try to fight it, the harder it just goes on longer and longer. <laughs> this is the part where... We say, furthermore, <laughs> uh, and in conclusion, 